What's up, YouTube? Hope you're all having a good day out in internet land. Uh, my Canadian Android, and today I'm going to be playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, the dating simulator game. Yes, it's real. It's made by KFC. It has, uh... Well, it... <laughs> it has great graphics. And it has 11 herbs and spices. Let's get to it. Sorry about that. Um, I tried to record this earlier, but uh, for some reason, I didn't hit the record button. I recorded the intro, but I missed the other part of it. Hmm. What's a good name? Can't spell the day. We sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is a peaceful, serene, peaceful and serene. I can't read or write today. Uh, you could stay in the moment forever. Or you, oh, fuck, that's so annoying. You slept through the school year and gave up on the once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Oh no. That's a game over. Game over. I went with cholesterol. That's my name for the, this game. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious university of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. I need to take this seriously. 
I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Bust through your morning checklist, teeth brushed, hair combed, fits deodorized, nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, because that's all you really eat in this world is KFC, strut out the door and head off to class. Standing in the quad, you gaze up upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Learning Academy for Learning. Blah 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 blah. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She is the most awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, cholesterol. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am. Excited? A little nervous? Okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that... This morning I made breakfast for myself, but well then I ate it. I couldn't taste any of the love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Raised by a master chef. Parents always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to meet me. Hey, hey Ty. My dog Ty is right here. The most loving, caring person I know, you're going to do great. But with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always been had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped her tooth practicing on a mannequin. Are you sure that was a mannequin and not a, like, a sex doll or something? Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Uh, let's change the subject to school gossip. It's hard to see Miriam like this and quite frankly exhausting. Rather than dwell on our anxiety, you change the subject to something more interesting. All summer you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy enigmatic mystery student who's enrolled at this school. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read all about on the school message board? Any new deets? Oh, I get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers, and he's had them... No, Siri, not you. Since he was born. From an egg. An egg like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. Sounds like quite a man. You both sigh thinking about the student so oh, handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Before you can get out another word, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand and onto the ground. Miriam. Hey! It's Ashley! You're our tribal. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. Mm. Excuse me, Miriam. Ashley. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken chins. Wow, what a bitch. You leave cholesterol shins alone. Uh, they are perfectly normal shins. Uh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. What an absolute bitch. You know, for a fact that she is actually Ashley, but had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone else. 
anyone knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or any weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can... See him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. <coughs> no lie, they are rocking glutes. This man does not skip leg day. Ahem, <coughs> Van Van, you rang? Jesus Christ, what's with all these poses? You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as its students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand our diplomas in now. Uh, or maybe hire us as professors. Uh, I can't fucking read today. Great. You amateurs can learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to probably tell them these two off, so you resist the urge. Yeah. I'd really resist the urge to call these two a couple of fucking dickheads. Let's go, Miriam. Psh. See you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goopy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Oh, did he just fart? What the hell, man? Get away from me. Oopsie. I think it's broken. Oh, is this drink? Reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you? I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Someone like this also be a student at the school? He's one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. I guess he's reading it upside down. Bob. You got problems, buddy. Hi, Pop. I'm cholesterol. So, are you gonna make me hold this door all day, you little shit? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders, following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Because that's what students do, chit-chat. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium in the front of the class. Adorable. He's the teacher? A dog is the teacher. That's very unsanitary. Who's this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he our culinary in our culinary class? He must be Sprinkles, our head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffly, fluffly. But I still demand respect. Wolf. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, the wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Pop, I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He walks in! Oh my gosh!
You are immediately swept up in the aura of, his, of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkle's story. Professor... Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Mm. Who is this smoldering hottie? Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before faucet pits melts into the puddle and evaporates. That's, that's actually really mean, man. Why would you say that about me? You're the one with your pits open all the time. Don't come at me with your weird haircut and your fucking huge belt. You two know, both know my name and we're in the same kindergarten class. Wow, they go back way back. And what is it with your really weird insults? Take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some, set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. Birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. Jeez, what kind of school is this? There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then another student enters the room and interrupter, your, interrupts your professor's rousing speech. Oh no. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to the class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Well, this is obviously the wrong classroom, man. We're first year students, buddy. Get out of here. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled. If you utter one more word before I finish... Let that be a lesson to you students. The tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. He turned to see student Sprinkles is referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. What? Class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. But when he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking based on what I'm picking up. You definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Exactly. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? I'm gonna give him a... a, a rubber ball. No, maybe a beef treat. See how it goes. 
beef? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. You clearly do not belong here. Please remove your apron and then remove yourself from this class and this school. Oh no! All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you all had a good uh, day and I'll see you tomorrow.